Well, folks, this is going to be a tough one. Because, you know, I can't read these books. Because it makes me want to kill people. Specifically, white males. Or females, should they be stupid enough to be white supremacists? Why? Because they are guilty of so much disgusting, appalling, debasing hate. And you just get tired of it. You get tired of having to kick people into having some sense. You just get tired of asking him, Oh, are you so scared of your little pinky dicks being discovered? What the hell's wrong with you? It's like arguing about what color the cat is. They're human beings. That's all you need to know. Now, do African Americans have a right to be upset? Oh, hell yeah, baby. They do. <laughs> really, honestly. It's, it's disgusting. It is very disgusting. If you're a member of the KKK, please shoot yourself. Thank you very much. All you people carrying out like that's some big deal. Michael E. Dyson wrote, Tears We Cannot Stop and What Truth Sounds Like. Yeah, black people have every right to be disappointed in the words white men speak. White men speak with forked tongue. Damn straight they do. Some whites, females, do as well. Carol Anderson explained it all very clearly in the book White Rage the truth behind our racial divide in this country white men are willing to sacrifice everything, break every rule, break every law so that they can feel good about themselves even though most of them are just dumb mediocrities just how they are you know, just regular people. But they have this insecure need inside of themselves that means they have to have somebody to other, somebody to despise, somebody to blame all their faults and their errors upon. Oh, they made me do it. Like the people who insist upon, I don't know anything about Black Lives Matter. All lives matter. Why don't you try living for three months as a African American before you talk? Let's go back to uh, 1860. And all you white supremacists, get out in the field. Okay? Pick that damn dare cotton. Cut down that sugar cane. Work, work, work for free. And if you don't work fast enough, there'll be a guy behind you with a whip. Sound good, huh? Yeah, you white boys just can't take it, can you? No. You want to be pampered. Gotta have your air conditioner. Yeah. Tell me I'm wrong, huh? So no, I can't read these books because I just get on the verge of homicidal. How can I respect a man who thinks like that? How could I possibly? I mean, it's absurd.
They're all complaining about, oh, we don't want little Johnny to feel bad about himself. That's why we don't tell them really about the history of the South. Nah, we know how some, you know, white woman decided, oh, yes, whip that man to death. You know? Scalp black women and cut off their ears. Because we're angry. You know, take a young boy, strap him, you know, chain him to a tree, and set him on fire. Yes! The bloodlust of the white man. Because that's the only way he can feel good about himself. Either he's beaten up on a black, or in modern times, beating up and raping on women. Right? Mr. Alito? Don't you see it's all part and parcel of the same thing? Got to feel better about yourself. See, you got to put somebody else down. There's got to be somebody under you, beneath you, worse off than you. Someone you can despise. Huh? Now you say, I'm despising people. Am I really? Or do I just recognize filth when I see it? Hmm? I mean, yeah. Tell the truth and shame the devil. Yeah. And if the... And if the, uh... Hooven... <laughs> the cloven hooves... The special pointy tail and the horns so fit... Yeah. Satan would be a white man. With a southern accent. Not really, no. Because they're everywhere. So, White Rage by Carol Anderson. I recommend it for everyone. Because it's stuff in it you need to know. You definitely need to know. You need to know that Lincoln lost his courage just when they needed it. He needed it. That Andrew Johnson should never have been elected. Michael Dyson. Michael E. Dyson and his books. You want to understand? That's because you didn't read your W.E.B. Du Bois. You should have. You should have. But you didn't. And what made Donald Trump erupt? What did you think? It's because Obama was president, was elected president, and went for eight years. Now, he wasn't all everybody had hoped, but on the whole, not a bad job. But what happened after that? White rage, of course. We hate black men with ambition. We hate black men to, to succeed in their lives. We must stop the black men from attaining equality or superiority. To ourselves? Oh, God, no. <gasps> and who are you going to do next? DeSantis? Man so afraid of his wife, he can't speak out of turn. So he has to go home and ask his wife what he should say in answer to this question or that. So that's why he's so robotic when you talk to him. I mean, unless it's a softball question, because, you know, the man really is only good for flipping burgers. 
where woke went to die. <laughs> where freedom lives, yes. Because it's the old South, you know, where incarceration's only for those the white man don't like. Because white men are all fat, pansy, puffy, timid mice that want to hide behind a wall and quake and quiver and ask God for help. Because, oh my God, the forces of evil. <laughs> You know, it would be funny, except it's so god-awful boring. So it's the same thing. Me, heap, big, man, eyes better. Then what? People you've trampled under your heel for th hundreds of years? Please. You're a debased cretin, and you know it. But don't go whining about it to me. But yes, you can get these books, and they're marvelous. Online, for not a lot of money. And then you can get educated about what you have wrought and what you need to do now. Thank you for watching. I do hope this helps. And please do, come again.